This is a refractometer. We're going to measure the water content of our honey. And this, this a refractometer, it's made for honey. There's many refractometers out there, and you have to buy one that's made for honey. Um, any other refractometer will not work because it's not set up for that, for that scale. And with this, there's a, uh, this is a, a Tago. This is the ex more expensive one. These cost uh, around 300 to three and a half. Um, get what you pay for. They're very accurate. They hold their um, uh, calibration very good. And all you do for this, you're gonna, I'm gonna take our toothpick and put a sample of honey on this lens. This is a lens. And we're gonna coat this lens with honey. And then we're gonna close this. And then I'm gonna look through the end and there's inside there, there's a scale and I'll be able to tell what the uh, moisture content of the honey is. And then on the bottom of this, there is a thermometer and the thermometer will give me a, a temperature adjustment for um, the moisture content. So there, it could, one side of the scale you add uh, moisture content, the other side of the scale would subtract. It depends on where the red thermometer is. So to do this, I just have a toothpick and I try to get it without any wax in it. Best we can do. And I just need a little bit. I can test anybody if they bring me a sample of honey. I test people's honey for free. Try to bring it to me without any beeswax. I don't need very much, but if you bring it in a jar, it could be a small jar, you wanna have it full because if you put a little sample in a quart jar, it'll absorb all the air. Any moisture that is in that jar will go into the honey. So you always want to fill up the container, then it won't absorb any air and give you a false reading. So that's covered, and then I just put that down. Okay, then I just, all I'm going to do is hold it to the light. Adjust it so I can see it. And this tells me that this honey has a moisture content of 17.7% water content. And then if I take my, my uh, adjustment here, I take off 6 tenths. So this honey is 17.1% water content. US grade A is is 18.6 percent or below so this honey is us grade a and it's uh perfect and it'll stay like that for a long time as long as it's in a covered container thanks for watching